testing equipment for milling balls used in mining, researcher Alfredo Artigas. One of the main expenses in mining operations are the grinding media, steel bars, and balls. It is estimated that the consumption of grinding balls in copper mining will increase from approximately 466 to 779,000 tons in the period from 2016 to 2025, which is why the industry is looking for permanent alternatives to the balls that guarantee greater efficiency at the lowest possible cost with accurate information of the abrasive wear resistance of these as a selection criterion. The wear of the grinding balls can be determined, for example, by their own characteristics, the operating conditions of the mill, and the type of ore subjected to grinding, all of which affect its durability. The complex problem lies in determining to what extent each of these factors affect the deterioration of the milling balls, resulting in the need to perform long and costly field tests for evaluation. To respond to this challenge, a research team from the University of Santiago developed a device and method to evaluate the wear produced in one or more conventional grinding balls. The device consists of a container, an axis disposed inside the container, a bar connected and integral in rotation to said axis, to which a grinding ball is fixed, and a rotation mechanism connected to the axis. This methodology has the advantage of taking between one to two weeks of testing and requiring a minimum quantity of balls and minerals. At the same time, it allows pre-selecting suppliers a range of different prices and attrition rates and thus simplifies the field tests by reducing the time and resources necessary for their realization. Currently, the technology has a patent application from the University of Santiago in Chile and is available to be tested at commercial pilot levels and then transferred to a third-party manufacturer to market the technology to the mining industry. For more information, send us an email or visit our webpage.